there is the primary coil some people are saying primary coil some are saying the generator or alternator uh, coil which is producing voltage to the cdi uh, this is not at the moment this is not actually for the cdi you can see very thick wire is there and few turns are there of wire this is for the catering point ignition system as i re uh, removed this one from the bike which i showed you in the previous video uh, so this one is uh, much more thicker wire a few turns this is producing something 12 volt or 15 volt something like that and then this voltage is going for the ignition system to the point catering point and to the um, ignition coil where it is producing the spark so this one we are going to um, eliminate this system we are going to modify this system to the cdi the bike should be cdi the catering is no more there's no more life for the catering so we are going to replace this thing uh, because this I before also I replaced this coil but some somebody later on me um, they changed it over again to the catering system so the catering system is not good this uh, leatherite you can see this milder paper before I put it in so we are going to remove this coil from by this way you will just remove this coil from the former you can see this this was a coil wound by somebody before me they modified my design back to the catering system which is even bad i was not expecting this thing but it had been so we are going to remove this coil from and then what i will do is i will have to show you something this is the paper the leather red paper something like that mylar should should work also i will cut that according to the size like this one i will cut it and this we will use in the winding layer winding we will do that i am going to show you in a little while for the winding what we use is this cable this wire magnet wire you can say uh, the size is over here 0 0.060 millimeter so 38 is the standard wire gauge number for this one but this is not critical you can use 40 you can use 38 you can use 39 something like that anything in hand you can use uh, so this is and this is the roll actually you can see and here is this wire this wire is actually like a uh, human hair are a little bit thicker than human hair and uh, here is you can see the thick side this is three uh, wire strands actually i just uh, put together and then may, may make it a strain like this uh, for the terminal because i'm bringing this to the earth terminal so this will be the end that's why i made it a little bit thicker uh, for the mechanical strength this is uh, so here this will go the altern in the alternator this will be something like this so here we will put our ground uh, so by this way we just we have to uh, pull this terminal through this uh, grommet or whatever you can see the end of the winding insulation so by this way we will just put it in some way like this yeah we will bring it off of the winding like this and then we will start our winding so starting the winding we, what we will do is uh, we have to count we should have to count layer by layer this is the miler you can say on the miler this is not the, on the metal direct we are not winding on the miler paper we are winding uh, you can use any paper like leather edge just i cut these pieces uh, these we will use later on in our winding uh, so just what you will do is you will have to count and something up to 1500 to 2000 uh, we will make terminals we should make two terminals is better if we will bring two terminals two ends one on the 1500 somewhere and the other on the 2000 somewhere uh, so then later on we will be able to uh, go for the proper wind uh, proper voltage which it will be produced actually the thing is it should produce maximum 400 volt it should not cross 400 if it will be crossing 400 it will uh, shorting down the capacitor inside the or the, the, the resistor inside the um, cdi uh, which is not a desired thing uh, so 400 is our maximum requirement so by the way you have to start it like this you have to count so this is counting like this one two three four five okay five turn i completed and uh, what is the way is you have to wind some way like this it should not be a perfect layer but it should be something a layer 
I mean to say if you will be on one turn is going on the top of the other turn it is okay it is accepted but it should not be like this that you are turning you are winding one wire over here one turn and then you are going back and winding over here this is something not a desired thing this will be a problem with the voltage while the voltage will be induced so then there will be a big voltage difference between the winding wires and that will create a short or a leakage in between the turns so that not said that is not a desired thing the corona will occur or the short circuiting will occur in between that's not a desired thing what we are doing we will go we will proceed like this so some 500 turn later after the 500 turn we have to uh, give an insulation paper layer some way like this we will give it i will show you how we are going to put this insulation layer on the five after the 500 turns so as now we completed just 500 turns over here uh, on this former uh, so as you can see the winding is procedural from here to there and what is the time now is for insulation paper we have to milder paper anything you can use uh, so from here we will have to start this paper uh, to wrap on something like this and this winding wire should pass through this wrapping by this way and just we will tightly wrap it wrap it very tightly to you take your scissor just cut this paper down over here just one single turn will be enough a small piece of tape just we have to tight on the this paper we'll stick it on and here also we have to stick one other pair piece of tape which is here i just cut it down a small piece so by this way we have to uh, tightly secure our paper on the winding so now a new place you got it and same way we have to turn we have to start turning or we have to start winding from here to there procedural winding 500 turns we will complete over here so here we will be completed our uh, 1000 turns so then again the paper we will give and we will proceed to the reverse same way as it is you can see so 1000 turns and then again we while we will come over here so something 1500 or 1500 turns will be completed now we completed our 1500 or 1500 turns uh, this wire you can see this will be we will bring a lead off we will bring off a lead of uh, this winding so that if it will be enough voltage it will produce on 1500 turns this will be our used wire if it is not we will put 500 more turns so we will use that end wire as a lead make a lead so here if i will double this wire i will be able to make a lead some way like this uh, just do it like this and then with this wire i will bind this one on the top of this bed copper wire or hookup wire I will use the solder to melt the enamel as well and to the soldering also so this will be the purpose of the soldering I will do both of the purpose uh, by this soldering small enamel wire like this 38 SWG you can do this technique so some way like this as you can see so from here just I will I will pull this paper on and same way i will bring this wire to this place and secure this tape with the tape this paper i will secure it with the tape so this should go somewhere over here and then the tape will secure it in its place so some way like this it's secured and here also i would have to put this tape on so that it will be secured same way now again I will complete my winding by 500 more turns I will complete and will bring one more lead over here outside we completed 500 more turns as you can see this end wire is coming and one lead we just brought it out over here you can see and now is the time to uh, put this insulation tape uh, paper on the top so some way like this we will do 
and then a piece of tape we should have to put it on this winding to secure it like this further uh, security we are providing by a further piece of tape so by this way we are doing like this and now is the time to bring one lead as you can see this I just I prepared it like this and here is the piece of paper which I just show you before it will come like this here and one more lead will come out from this winding after 2000 turns as this was 1500 turns so this will be 2000 after the 2000 turns we are going to prepare another lead so this lead we should have to prepare in the same way we are going to wrap this wire which is coming out of the winding on the top of this uh, beard copper wire or hookup wire now is the time to solder this one so using our soldering iron and soldering wire we are going to solder this uh, winding end wire we are going to make it a little bit uh, turn we are going to make it so that it will not come off easily we should have to secure this using our cotton uh, thread we are going to secure this end connection over here a few turns of the thread will be enough to make it secure we will make a knot to this thread so that it will be securing the terminal safely and the rest of the cotton we will cut it down now this is okay it had been completed but we will wrap one extra turn of the insulation paper to make, make it further protect and then on the top of that we will provide further uh, whatever this this is not yeah this is complete this is okay if we will do it some way like this it will secure the internal connection of the winding some way like this as it is secured over here uh, so further we will provide a tape piece of tape to protect it with a piece of tape I just protected this winding uh, this uh, insulation paper on the top of the winding again another piece of tape I am providing for further security as you can see so now this is and better if we make it further secure with the cotton uh, thread so that this winding paper will not come off and it will secure mechanically the winding on the top of uh, this core or whatever the bobbin so some way like this we have to wrap it a tight wrap is not required a tight wrap is required actually to the thread but not the turns are not too tight as you can see they are not very very much close but it is okay it will do so some way like this and then in the end again we will make knot to the cotton thread a cotton thread or whatever the nylon thread you can use for the insulation purpose but not a wire a copper wire will not do because that is something not that is insulated so a copper wire is not required thing for this thing so this is our final product now is the time to check this or to test this uh, so how we will test is we will use our multimeter so the multimeter ohm range will do better if we will test on the ohm uh, it should give some resistance which will be a few hundred ohms something like that according uh, it depends upon the wire quality and wire diameter these things are important uh, so we are going to check it so checking is straightforward where the winding had been started this lead we will check with the 1500 first so as you can see this is giving something 85.5 ohms it's okay and now we are going to check with the 2000 it is giving 120 ohms 
120.6 ohms it is giving so this is something a good winding uh, result which we can say uh, for this core which we did and uh, first what we will do is we will try this wire uh, we will keep it somewhere we will uh, secure the the end of the wire with the tape and we will use this wire for the starting of the bike then we will see for the result if the voltage is sufficient we will use this one or if the voltage is less we will secure this wire somewhere and we will use this one and so this is what is the way we did it so this is a hit and trial method you can say in two windings we did so thank you for watching keep on watching stay tuned